Hello, my name is Sarah Marie Jackson with the National Park Service National Center for Preservation Technology and Training, and in this video we will be discussing the application and preparation of lime wash. Lime wash has long been used worldwide as a surface finish on the interior and exterior of homes, buildings, and other structures. Lime wash is a mixture of slaked lime and water with or without additional additives. When the mixture dries, it reacts with carbon dioxide in the air, called carbonation, to create a tough, rock-like coating. It adheres best to brick, stucco, plaster, adobe, and a variety of other porous materials. Wood building, fences, and trees were also lime washed historically, but the lime wash does not adhere as well to this material as it does to porous materials. Lime begins as limestone that is burned at high temperatures. This removes the carbon dioxide and moisture from the stone, creating calcium oxide, which is commonly referred to as quicklime. Quicklime must be slaked with water before it is usable. Slaking refers to the addition of water, which leads to an exothermic reaction. If a small amount of water is added, the result is a dry powder known as hydrated lime. Lime putty is created when a greater amount of water is added to quicklime or hydrated lime. The first step before beginning any project is documentation. It is important to document the structure as you found it before any work begins. This may be done by filling out a survey form or just writing a narrative description of the structure's condition. It is a good idea to take lots of photos before, during, and after the completion of the project. Keep in mind to take pictures of both the details and the overall structure. You should also carefully inspect the structure or surface to determine that additional work does not need to be done before lime washing. When planning a project, sufficient time should be set aside for any drying or setting time needed for all materials. Applying lime wash should be the final step in a project. Lime wash was traditionally prepared on site by skilled craftsmen and applied in the spring or the fall for optimal temperatures. It is best to apply it when temperatures are around 70 degrees Fahrenheit, give or take 10 degrees. If it is too hot, the lime wash will dry too quickly, disrupting carbonation and leading to a poor finish. It is easy to mix a basic lime wash with or without additives on site. A high calcium lime is recommended to create a higher quality lime wash. Several companies have high calcium hydrated lime and lime putty available for purchase. Remember that lime putty has an endless shelf life as long as it is covered with water and kept in a sealed container. After deciding on the type of lime you will be using in the lime wash, you need to mix one part lime for every four parts of water. That will leave you with about 20% lime in your lime wash. After mixing it well with a whisk or an electric drill with a paint mixer attachment, check the consistency of the wash. It should be thin, about the consistency of skim milk. You can check the consistency using a yawn or cord cup in a dip method. Placing the cup in the lime wash, begin timing as you pull the cup out of the lime wash. We are looking at a time between 12 and 14 seconds. If it is too thick, you can add more water, or if the mix is too thin, add more lime. After you get it to the right consistency, screen the mix to remove any large or unslaked pieces of lime. An amount large enough to complete the project should be mixed at one time. It is important to agitate the lime wash during application to maintain a consistent mix. I prefer to mix a large amount and pull out smaller amounts to work with as needed. Make sure the lime wash is well mixed before removing the smaller amounts to work with. Next, you're going to want to dampen the building and softly scrub your work surface with a soft bristle non-metallic brush to remove any dirt, debris, or biological growth. If biological growth is a problem, there are specific cleaners manufactured for use on historic buildings that include a biocide. If you feel that this is needed, be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions and rinse all cleaners from the surface before beginning the lime wash application. Water and a soft bristle brush will take care of most problems and will not necessitate the additional cost and work of using a chemical cleaner. When applying lime wash, you are going to begin by dampening the substrate. The surface should glisten but have no standing water. I prefer to clean the surface immediately before lime wash so the material will already be dampened. After you are done dampening the surface, wait a few minutes to make sure the material is no longer drawing water. If the material begins to look dry a few minutes after dampening, the surface is too dry to lime wash. It is very important that the substrate be damp enough to allow the lime wash to dry slowly. If the lime wash dries too quickly, the carbonation will be disrupted, forming a finish that tends to crack, powder, and lack strength. If time constraints necessitate applying lime wash during a time of year when the temperatures are higher than recommended, it may be necessary to dampen the surface periodically with a light spray or hang dampened burlap to slow the drying. 
Lime wash is applied in thin layers, constantly maintaining a wet edge. When I say a wet edge, I am referring to starting in one spot and working out from there, not allowing the lime wash to dry. There are specifically made brushes for applying lime wash called lime brushes that are available from specialty stores or through the internet. They differ from regular paint brushes in that they are bigger than regular brushes and have stiffer bristles to pick up and distribute the lime wash. Using your lime brush, apply the first coat of lime wash to a dampened surface. Working the wash into cracks or joints, apply the lime wash remembering to maintain a wet edge. During application, the lime wash will be translucent and become opaque as it dries. It is recommended that you let 24 hours pass between coats to allow the lime wash to begin carbonating. To apply successive coats, first dampen the surface, then follow the same steps you took when applying the first coat. Five to eight coats are recommended for the initial application. If you are interested in learning more information about lime wash, additional resources are available on our website at www.mtptt.nps.gov.